Welcome, welcome. And from Suits and Tomatoes, this is the basic workout. Welcome. And uh, this week we're talking about uh, rotator cuffs, ankles, uh, wrists, all the important stuff uh, to grasp things or to, uh, to hold ourselves up properly, right? So when we're thinking about alignment, that comes into play all the more importantly. So we want our toes pointing forward if possible. I know sometimes people tend to want to be in this, uh, they call it duck position, but um, straight ahead, if you can kind of start to train your body to bring the toes in, it's better because it aligns the knees with the thighs and the toes. So then shoulders back, chest out, and our wrists give us away in terms of posture, yeah? Because you can see the sides of your hands or your palms versus being in a in a sad banana posture, which is where you'd see your knuckles, right? So nice and tall, big deep breaths. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose if you can, but out through the mouth is okay too. Fantastic. So a couple exercises they recommend uh, from the Arthritis Society is to circles with the wrists. So we might as well get warmed up and start our marching. Yes, good. Welcome and good morning. Good job, good job. See, I was chilly, so I really wanted to get moving this morning. Good. And then the other direction. My name is Renee. I'm a registered nurse and personal trainer, and I train in yoga and different things. So, uh, I usually like to use science-based kind of exercises in order to get warmed up. So thinking about our ankles now, they recommend kind of doing this seated, but we could just as well do it standing. We're going to point our toe and then retract it. Point the toe and retract it. Good. Point and retract. And then one more. Point and retract. And then we'll do the other side. Same thing. So this can be done, you know, laying down in bed before you get up, uh, anytime really, if you're just sitting for a long period of time. Fantastic, right? Easy, pumps the blood back to our hearts. All good. Okay, good. All right, one more. Fantastic. Another one that really helps us with our ankles is the toe taps. Also can be done seated, right? Just as well seated or standing, your choice. Good. And since we're doing those, we might as well warm up our shoulders. So this time we're going to do palms um, facing each other and then come in and pull the shoulder blades down and back. So reaching up, pull the shoulder blades down and back and then in, pulling the shoulder like our row, like our row. So up. Shoulders down and back, and we'll keep toe tapping. Good. Huh? This is pretty fun already. Woo! Good. So, of course, we'll be working the whole body, but I tried to throw in little bits that get our wrists moving, maybe in a different way, or working our ankles a little bit more. Fantastic. Good. We're going to do one more, and then we're going to change it, but we're going to keep toe tapping. So you're going to press the palms forward as far as you can, and then bring the palms into the chest and roll the shoulders down and back. Again, I am not making this up. I know it's a weird little exercise, kind of uncomfortable, but stretches our wrists, and it's recommended by the Arthritis Society. It's one of their top 10 exercises. Good. Huh? Pretty good, right? Woo! 20 seconds left to enjoy it. You know what I thought would be fun today? If we do a combo with the push-up. So when we're doing our push-ups today, we're going to do a calf press as well. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to think about that, okay? One more. Good. Two minutes of toe taps. So we're going to do our push-up today, but when you're doing your push-up, once you come back to your tall position, do a little calf press, and then the push-up again, and a little calf press, and that will really push 
our heels into the floor and stretch our calves as we go into the push-up, right? So if we're doing it seated, same exact thing. You're going to do your nice push-up here. Come back up tall, do the little calf press. Why not? Down, up, and then the calf press, right? We get the same exact thing. Up, calf press. So we're going to do 10 of these beauties. Pretty fun, yeah? Woo! Try to keep the elbows tight. Big deep breaths. Fantastic. Good. Oh, you're having to hold those push-ups a little longer, yeah? Isn't that fantastic? Woo! So when we come back, we're just going to march. We're going to march and just have fun right here. <coughs> we're going to march for one minute. Do one of the clockwork arms. So one of them is palms together and then palms, uh, the back of the hands together. So the palms together, the back of the hands together. And again, can be done seated, right? Can be done right from your seat. No problem at all. Fantastic. Woo! Good. Did you like the calf press push-up? Huh? We're all about combination moves today. It's only going to be two moves. Two moves for each one. Good. We're doing 10 more seconds, so you might as well enjoy it. Three, two, one. All right, fantastic. It's about to get even better. Are you ready to feel your legs? Oh, I'm ready. All right, so let's stand nice and tall, soft on the leg. We're going to use the outside leg today just because, you know. And then it, you can do this seated. So we're going to do five repetitions and see how we do, okay? So big deep breath. We're going to exhale in and then stretch the leg out. Exhale in, stretch the leg out. Oh, I know it. Exhale in. You got it. Stretch the leg out. Two more. Exhale in. I like it. Stretch the leg out. Again, exhale, crunch, stretch the leg out. Let's switch legs. We're just doing five. So other side, 90 degree. Exhale in. Nice and tall. Stretch the heel out. Exhale in. Inhale, stretch. Exhale in. Inhale and stretch. Two more. And out. One more. And out. That was really good. I think we can totally do six or seven next time for sure. All right. So let's do uh, same idea, but this time we're going to uh, go out to the side. So you can also do it seated, okay? We're going to start with five. So you're going to have your leg at a 90 degree. Lift and then stretch it out and then come back and then down harder. Lift, stretch it out, back and down. Same thing if you're seated. Here, 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 and back. Here, out, here, and back. Yeah, good. Lift, out back and down. Stay tall, tall. Lift, out, back, and down. Now, other side. A little tougher, yeah? A little tougher. Well, you know, got to work it differently all the time. Keep it fresh. Curl in, lift, heel out, come back, and down. Lift, it just makes it hold a, a little longer, right? Maybe get a little further on your stretch. Good. All right, two more, two more. Lift, press the heel out, come back, and down. One more. Lift, press the heel out, come back, and down. Very good, very good. All right, so uh, what, what are we at? We should do one, one ab one. So 
before we get going. So we got one more minute, one minute. So a big butterfly. And since we're combining moves today, we'll do the side bend at the same time. Good. So remember, you could be here. And then just do the tilt. Doesn't have to involve the shoulder, right? It could be all about the abs. Or here, to one side, to the other side. 30 seconds left. Let's enjoy each one. Exhale on the crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, one side. Inhale, exhale, the other. Good. We don't have to rush. We don't have to rush. We can savor and enjoy. 10 seconds left. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Five seconds. Fantastic. Good, good. We're done. We're good. Take a little drink. I got to say, this time of the year is uh, full of pollen everywhere. Not my best time for eyes and nose and stuff. But I know some of you are probably suffering from allergies as well. So good for you to come work out and kind of clear out those airways. Grab the dumbbells in an ergonomic fashion, which means having a neutral spine and bending our knees. Good. So from here, we're going to start with the squat and hammer curl. I was going to start with the lunge, but instead we'll do squat and hammer curl. That'll be our first combo. Feet together or hip width apart, no matter what, knee over ankle, okay? Shoulders back, chest out, like you mean business. Lift, squeeze, and hammer curl. Like I said, two moves for each set. Like So this is our squat, or you could just sit and squeeze your bum. Curl. Yes. Woo! Fantastic. Down, up, squeeze, curl. That's looking a little easy. Let's do two more and then we'll, we'll bump it up a notch. Squeeze, curl. You guys are so fit. Woo, I'm going to take it up a little bit. All right, here we go. So for the next five, just to make it a little harder, let's do 90 degrees, okay? Then we do our squat, we come up, and then we lift, and we bring it back to 90. See, a little harder. Down, squeeze up, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Do you look like a robot? Good, You're supposed to, right here, 90. Makes it harder, unless you like the first version. If you thought that was hard enough, then keep it to all the way down and up. Good, see, woo, more active, yes? Two more, two more. Squeeze the buttocks, pull the abs in. That's it. Woo! One more. Up. Squeeze. Fantastic. Number two, deadlift row. Deadlift row doesn't need any additives. It's good enough on its own. So feet hip width apart, shoulders back. Remember, keep that neutral spine. So if you could have somebody look at your back now and again and make sure that it's flat. Lift the elbows up and squeeze them against your rib cage. Release it down, bring it back in, and come back up to realign. Shoulders back, chest out, another opportunity. Bend those knees, kick the bum back, pull the abs in, palms facing each other, roll up and squeeze. Release down, in, up, realign. Woo! You got it. Shoulders back, chest down, knees bent. Down, hamstrings. Row up, latissimus dorsi. Back down to our hamstrings. And back up for a squeeze on our glutes. Let's do it again. Halfway there here. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, release the arms back down. Inhale, coming back up for the squeeze. Woo! All right, five more. Shoulders back, chest down. See what I mean? This one doesn't need any additives, does it? Squeeze, release, in, and up, because they're big muscles. Four more. Shoulders back, chest out, down. Row up. Release down. 
back to hamstrings and back up. Three more to feel it in the spots we need to. Bend those knees, hamstrings here. Back of the legs, row up for our middle back muscles. Release down, bring it back into the back of the legs and squeeze it. Good, three more, three more. Down, it's too important. Row up, release down, bring it back in, bring it back up. Two more, I'm gonna show them seated though. Down, row up, release down, bring it back up and squeeze. One more, one more. We need to feel it in the right places. Bend those knees, shoulders back, chest out, row. Release down, come back up, fantastic. Good, so the next one is the shoulder press with the gentle curl, okay? So you could sit if you need a little support. Squeeze your bum, pull your abs in, palms facing our ears. Yeah, you got it. So up, and remember it's about the wrist today, so keep the wrists really nice and aligned, keep the elbows bent. And then we do it again, up and out. It's probably the hardest one, isn't it? Let's squeeze our glutes and pull our abs in. Up, shoulders back, chest out, and out. Woo! Up, shoulders back, chest out, and out. Good job, good job. Up. Shoulders back, chest out, and out. I say we try to go for the five more. Let's do it, let's do it. Five more. Big deep breaths. And out. You can always drop the dumbbells for the last four if you want, or try to finish the set, squeezing our bums all the way. Woo! Oh, let's do it. Three more, three more. Squeezing our bum, pulling our abs, and keeping those knees soft. Big deep breaths. Two more, two more. Up, down, shoulders back, chest out. Oh, I know we feel it, I know we feel it. One more, one more. Last one, last one, last one. Woo! That's the step, good job, good job. All right, one more exercise in this set. We're gonna do a lunge with a tricep pump, okay? The other option, is to do leg press with the tricep pump. So either way, I'm gonna show both. I like to put the leg next to the chair forward, so the leg that's back is the one that where I'm gonna do the tricep pump. So it's just one dumbbell. So we get into our lunge position, nice and tall. We release the leg down, bring it back up, and then squeeze the shoulder blade back. Down, up, squeeze back. Got it? Down, oh, it looks good. Up, woo! I love it, I love it. Look how tall you all are. Oh, so good, so good. The alignment is beautiful. You can always hang on to the chair if you need to. Up, squeeze that shoulder blade back. Good, down, up, squeeze the shoulder blade back. Now that we can feel it, five more. Up, squeeze the shoulder blade back. Four more. And then you can put it down and press back. So leg press, down, press back. And again, okay, good. That's 10, so let's switch sides, okay? Oh, it's fun, it's fun. Good, so nice and tall, knee over ankle in the front. The uh, leg that's back is the same arm that's doing the work. Down, up, squeeze back. Down, up, squeeze back. Down, up, squeeze the shoulder blade back. Down, up, make sure the knee is over the ankle. I want that alignment in the front here, right? Squeeze back, so do you. Five more. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Down, up, squeeze the shoulder blade. Down, up, looking straight ahead. Squeeze the shoulder blade, two more. Down, up, squeeze. One more. Hard, eh, this one? Woo, I know it. 
I know it. So let's shake those legs out, but don't worry. Don't worry, we'll be marching now. Shake the legs out. Shake that set off. Good job, good job. Clockwork arms, this time baby fingers, thumbs. Baby fingers, thumbs. Woo! Baby fingers, thumbs. Fantastic. Woo! See, you already forgot about those lunges, yes? <laughs> the thing about lunges is they work. They work. They're very effective. And you often will feel your legs the next day. 15 seconds left. Nice and slow. Reaching. Remember, it's about the hands, the ankles today. So we want to really focus on stretching the fingertips out. Trying to get full range of motion. Good job. Good job. Now, do you remember that first one with the knee? Hmm? Six this time. Six, okay? So you can sit to do it. We have the leg at a 90 degree. Soft leg we're standing on. Exhale and stretch. Oh, yeah. Exhale and stretch. Oh, only four more. And stretch. Exhale with a crunch and stretch we got one more and stretch all right good job good job let's uh switch sides that was exciting hey eh? not so bad not so bad i thought it was good it was good shoulders back chest out 90 degrees captain morgan style exhale in and inhale stretch exhale in inhale and stretch that heel out and stretch. What if everyone was like super fantastic? How would you feel it then, right? Whoa, this is good. One more, one more. Do you remember the second move? Second move, we uh, get the leg out, right? We curl it, we have 90 degree leg. We curl it out, we extend it, we curl it back in and bring it down. Or seated, or seated. Out, stretch, in and back. Out, stretch, in and back. Three more. Out, stretch, in and back. Two more. Out, stretch, in and back. One more. Out, stretch. In and back. Good job. Good job. Six this time. Six. Woo! All right. Other side. So remember, curl, out, extend, in, and come back. Woo! Two. Fantastic. Out. Good. Three. Slower. Slower. Four. Oh, let's savor each one. Press that heel out. Come back and down. One more. Woo! I know. It's for your beautiful legs, right? I should see you all in short shorts. I should see you all in short shorts. All right, here we go. Crunches for one minute. So arch in. And then the combo move. Side, side. In, open, inhale, exhale, side, and side. Woo! Yeah, I love it. I, seated is fantastic as well. Open, side, side. So remember, if all you feel is your shoulder, please put your hands down. It can be done just as well with the hands down. Right? But if you can tolerate it, then fantastic. But it's really up to you. The arms do not have to be up. 15 seconds left. Exhale and crunch in. Inhale, open. Exhale, one side and the other side. One more crunch, one more crunch. 
Fantastic. All right, all right. So I'm ready to do that again one more time. Let's start with the squat. Where's our dumbbells? So we'll grab both dumbbells. It was fun. It was fun. And like I said, you can have your arms down. Or we can make a little harder the 90 degree arms for the whole round. Feet hip width apart or together. We come up, we squeeze our bums, and we lift the rest away to finish the curl. Fantastic. So down. Good. Up. Squeeze. Or just squeeze and half curl. The hardest part of the curl. Down, up, squeeze, woo! Half curl. You guys are great. Fantastic. Here we go. Down, press up and squeeze. Pull those abs in. Curl. Good. Down, up, squeeze, curl. All right, now five more. Down, up, squeeze, curl. Only four more to savor. Down, big deep breaths. Up, curl. I love it. Three more. Down, up, squeeze the butt, curl. Two more to enjoy. Two more. Are you feeling it? It's beautiful, right? Woo! And curl. One more. One more. Feel those forearms, right? Holding in this position works the forearm. Fantastic. All right, all right. So deadlift row. Remember how important the deadlift row is? The back of the legs are getting worked here. All kinds of stuff. So bend the knees, shoulders back, chest out, and come down with that neutral spine. You will know you have your neutral spine when you feel your hamstrings. Tuck the chin in, row. Release, come back in, come back up, realign. Take your time with each and every part like it's magic and you love it. Row up and squeeze those beautiful muscles. Release down. In, up, and align. Squeeze, bend the knees, kick the bum back. Woo! Row, release. In, and up. Fantastic. Again. Row, release. In, and up. Woo! Halfway now, halfway. Down, shoulders back, chest down, hamstrings. Make sure. Squeeze those elbows up. Release it down. In and up. Really make sure the knees are bent. Last five. Down. That's it. Those look good. Row, release, in and up. Four more to enjoy. Let's really make sure. Let's not rush it. Let's savor it. Row, release. In and up. Three more. Realign. Soften the knees. Kick the bum back. Pull the abs in. Looking at the floor, we row up. We release down. We bring it back in and bring it back up. Three more. Let's not rush it. Let's savor. Savor and feel. Row. Release. In and up. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. It's good for us. You feel the goodness. This is how it feels. It's uncomfortable goodness. Good. In and up. One more. One more. Woo! Row. Release. In and up. Fantastic. Fantastic. Next is that shoulder press. Shoulder press with the soft curl. So if you want to sit to do it, be my guest. Yeah, it's fantastic. I love it. I'm going to sit too. It looks good. Looks good. All right. Then, you know, if you do it seated, you isolate the shoulder more. Yeah. Makes it harder. Makes the uh, workout more intense. Shoulders back, chest out, abs in. Gentle curl. Not too straight. A little soft. Good. Up. We are, uh, we are the safest when our muscles are most engaged. So, 
if we keep a slight bend, we keep our arms safer. Three already, three already. Shoulders back, chest out. If you're standing, squeeze your bum. If we're seated, let's squeeze our bum and pull our abs in as well. Good. Woo! Halfway now. Not so bad, right? Not so bad. All right, five more. Up, down. Squeeze the abs and pull the abs in. Squeeze the bum. That's what I want to say. Woo! Four more. Relax the face. Good. Or smile. Three more. Three more. Up. Shoulders back, chest out, and gentle curl. Gentle. Ooh, that's right. Two more. Up. Down. Gentle curl. Woo! And in. Again. Up. Down. Gentle curl. Oh, last one. Good. Fantastic. All right. Do you remember the last move? Are you excited? It's the lunge. It's the lunge. All right. So remember, if you don't want to do the lunge, that's fine. Sit at the edge of your seat, and you're going to do the leg press. To make it harder, you could hold the leg up or bring the leg down, and then do your, your, uh, your squeeze in the back. All right, so otherwise you're doing the lunge. So the arm, that, the leg that's back is the one you want to hold the weight in, up, and then squeeze the shoulder blade back. And again, you could always use your chair for balance. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, good. Down, up, squeeze the shoulder blade back. Good. Down, up, squeeze the shoulder blade back. All right, five more. Down, up, squeeze the shoulder blade back. Again, down, up, squeeze the shoulder blade back. Now only three more to enjoy. So let's really savor here. Woo! Squeeze. Two more. Yeah, this might be our last round of these, so we really have to savor here. One more. Down, up, squeeze. Good job, good job. <laughs> so remember, if you're doing it seated, you're going to switch legs. I would scooch over to the side as much as possible. Leg press, and then the back squeeze. Or you can put the leg down in between. That's right. So I'm going to say we're at two already. Good. Staying nice and tall, looking straight ahead. Down like a piston. Squeeze. Down. Up. Squeeze the shoulder blade. Down, up. Squeeze the shoulder blade. Four more. Down, up. Squeeze. Uh-huh. Down, up. Squeeze. Last two. Last two. Down, up. Squeeze the shoulder blade. One more. Down, up. Squeeze. Good job, good job. That was our tricep exercise. So we're back to marching, back to marching. If you want to take a drink or you haven't already, you're always welcome to, you know. <laughs> All right, seven minutes left to our workout. <coughs> well, the hard part of the workout anyway. So we, I, we should be cooling things down now, yes? So let's do clockwork arms in a different way. So we're going to do clockwork arms at the bottom here, pressing back. And then the midpoint, like 3 and 9. And then 2 and 10, like 45 degrees. And then all the way up and back. Good. And then we do that again. So at the bottom, good. Open the chest. The cross leg, yeah, good, good flexibility at 45 degrees, and then at overhead, good, fantastic, fantastic, all right, so we should do that set of push-ups with the calf press one more time, okay, so 10 push-ups with the calf press, because that's a fantastic exercise, shoulders back, chest out, 
and it forces us to press our heels in. So we're going to press ourselves away, go into the calf press, sink into the heels, and come back for that beautiful push-up. Press up, lift, down, and again. Woo! If you're doing it seated, oh, you know it. It's the same. It's the same. Down, up, tall, and then the calf press. Oh, yeah. Down, up, tall, calf press. Good job. Down, up, tall, calf press. Fantastic. Calf press. Good job, good job. Fantastic. So coming back, we're going to do toe taps. Toe taps, because we already did the calf press, right? So we're just going to take it into the toe tap. Fantastic. And we haven't done angel wings yet, so we should totally do that now. So big deep breaths, reaching up and squeezing the shoulder blades down and back. That's it. So 30 more seconds of just enjoying our toe taps. Because if we're thinking about ankles, what better exercise is being on one foot, which we did with the knee raise, and being, because we have to balance, and then the toe taps and the calf press are the two others. And circles, anything like that. Fantastic. Okay, one more, one more. Really squeezing the shoulder blades down and back. So reach here and then squeeze the shoulder blades down and back here. Fantastic. Now just the crunch for one minute. Just the crunch. So you could sit, think about arching, opening, or down here too, and then exhale, tilt the pelvis forward, pull the abdominals in. Inhale, make it about the pelvis, and the rib cage and abs. So you can have the hands here, which kind of makes the uh, move a little more intense. That's beautiful. Good, 10 seconds left. Take your time, five seconds. Three, two, one, done. So we haven't done anything diagonal today yet. So let's do that. One minute of diagonal knee raises. So opposite arm and knee. One minute. We should always be doing a diagonal move, one way or another. Sometimes if I don't get it in the workout, I'll try to get it in the stretches. But it's good to get a strength move in. So take your time and pause at the top where the contraction is. Even if you have to do it seated in order to appreciate the crunch. So reach, inhale, exhale, crunch. 15 seconds left. Big deep breaths. That's it. Five, four. Let's not take it for granted. Two, one, done. Okay, we got one more minute left. We're gonna do um, kind of a stretch. So if you wanna make the hardest position is feet together. And then we stand nice and tall. So for 20 seconds, we're just gonna do the basic one. So if you took shoulders out of the side bend, it would feel like this. So we want these sides to be stretching and contracting. Inhale up. Exhale over. Now we can add the arm for that same kind of uh, idea. And then you can get a deeper stretch. It's nice to notice the differences, right? I like to notice the differences. Good. I like how everybody's taking their time with it too. Exhale if you happen to go a little slower than me. Perfect. Perfect. Now if we want to make it even harder for the last 20 seconds, we can do arms together, but you do not have to do this. You could go to one of the other combinations. Good, 10 more seconds. Reach and over as you exhale. Reach 
and over as you exhale. Yes. Good. Done. Done. That's it. All right. <laughs> Good. All right. Quad stretch is next. So the easiest way to show the quad stretch is standing. Right? So this one. But not everybody can get here. Not everybody. And especially if you've had knee issues, that may not even work for you, bending your knee to that extent. So the lunge is the other nice stretch. So here we're supported. It's fantastic. Two more deep breaths. Feel it in the front of the thigh. Press the hip forward. Press the foot into your hand. Good. And then we do the other side. So again, always listen to your body and do the position that suits you so that you feel it in the place where you need to. So for instance, with the quad stretch, it's the quads, which is a group of muscles in the front of the thigh. So we want to make sure we adjust our bodies so that we feel it there. Yeah, beautiful. Good. Press the hip forward. Two more deep breaths. Press the heel back or press the foot into your hand to open the chest further. Good. Fantastic. Good job. Good job. So if we're doing our hamstring stretch next, while we're doing chest expansion, which is a beautiful stretch for the chest, so we need to actively reach back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, we're going to point the toe and retract it or flex it a couple of times. Point it and flex it as we pull our shoulder blades back. Point and flex. Keep it flexed. Take your ear to one shoulder and then chin towards your chest slowly and then over to the other side. Good. And then back up and then exhale the chest down. Good. Now you feel your hamstrings. I can feel them right here already. Now if I release my hands, if you release your hands and your head down, you usually get a little further or it changes it slightly. You can soften the knee. Take two more deep breaths here. Relax the head fully or walk the hands a little further out. Good job. And then walk it up slowly. So usually by the end there, you're like quite a bit further than at the beginning, right? At the beginning, oh, it's, it talks real loud. So flex the foot chest expansion, really reach back, now point the toe and flex it, point the toe and flex, and then one more time, point and flex, now hold the flexion and go to one side, maybe the opposite side, ear towards shoulder, and then down, still stretching back, still opening the chest, and then towards the other side. Good. And back up. Good job. Good job. I know your necks are looking really good. So press forward. When I first start training people, a lot of times I tell them bring your ear to your shoulder and they hardly move. Release the hands and the head down and take a deeper breath here. Now see if you go walk the hands further or even just relax in this position. One more deeper breath. Good job, good job. And then up. Woo, good job, good job. All right, so good, good. All right, if we're thinking about uh, stretching our wrists, we do sometimes the fist one, but that one was pretty good, right? When we brought it forward and we pulled it in, that really did a nice stretch. And then upside down is the other one. Really, really nice. So let's do that again. Out and then in. And when you're coming in here, you want to try to get those shoulder blades back at the same time. And then upside down. Good. And then another way that stretches both the triceps. So we bring the elbows together if we can. And then we go all the way as far apart as we can. And then you'll feel like, oh, okay, you have to release them. All the way up, yeah, and back. You know where I'm going, right? Elbows open. Open those elbows. Oh, there we go. And then bring them back. Reach back up. And then come back down. 
Okay, let's do that again. We start with elbows together. Good. Go up only as far as you can. You'll know your, your arms are going to want to let go, and that's good. Let them go. And then palms back. And then inhale, elbows open, 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 open. Yeah. And then release. And then back. And then up. Good. And then quick hands, quick shoulder stretch. We'll just do horizontal today. Good job. Good job on everything, everything. I hope you like those push-ups. Huh? New variation. And then other side. I bet you your favorite part was those uh, knee raise crunch things, eh? <laughs> you got your straight arm just needs to go across your body. Close. <laughs> close, close. There you go. You got it. All right. Good job. Good job. And I will see you all on Friday. All right. Have a great day.